All right, Troy, another good uh, week by the offense. Great to get a win, but I know the offense played really well. I didn't get a chance to watch too much around the sideline, so tell us what happened. Yeah, it was a great performance. I want to really give a shout out to our offensive staff. Greg Austin, offensive line coach, Mario Verdusco, quarterbacks coach, Ryan Held, running backs, Sean Becton, you know, tight ends, Mike Cassano, offensive assistant, Frank Verducci, offensive assistant, uh, Drew Davis, our quality control, and then Dustin Haynes, our, our uh, GA as well, man. We put together a great game plan that the guys went out and executed. And, uh, you know, I give all the credit to our assistants, man. They did a great job. And, you know, this game really came down to, um, you know, we wanted to attack them early. You know, we knew they were wounded coming in, and so we wanted to get off to a good start and uh, put doubt in their mind that they really belong, and we did that on our first series. Uh, great play, great protection, uh, great route by uh, Jordan Akins, and uh, he finishes with a touchdown. So we got things rolling on the first possession, um, which was a great start. And then what I loved about this game was everybody contributed. I think we had seven touch by, touchdowns by seven different players. Um, got some defensive guys involved, Pittman right here. We've been running the ball when we got down to the goal line. So first call, we sold the, the run action and hit Pittman in the flat. Um, and for him, all the work he does on, off, on defense, man, it's great to see him be rewarded and just a celebration. Guys are having fun. Guys are embracing the moment. So it was good that uh, everybody trip, uh, contributed. And then at the end, man, you know, I challenged the offense, the twos and threes, that they had to be ready when their number was called. And they got a couple series, and they scored on two series. And so right here, Noah's in at quarterback. Alex Harris, who doesn't play a lot on offense, comes in. O-line does a great job. Alex Harris comes in, gets a key block, and now Noah scores. And so I thought the twos, the guys that usually don't get a lot of time, they came in, they were ready, and they produced. And we're going to need depth going into this stretch run. So all in all, pleased about the performance. And, uh, you know, we're looking forward to taking it to another level uh, this week against Navy. Uh, tell us a bit, little bit about uh, how you all were able to slow down uh, East Carolina's high power offense. Yeah, I thought they were they were a good team, you know, coming into the coming into the game, and uh, like we talked about before, you know, they played Virginia Tech, who's ranked pretty high, and um, you know they played uh, USF. They played them, and those games were a, a touchdown difference going in the fourth quarter. So we thought we need to get some early stops and let you guys go do what you guys do. Um, so we challenged the guys. We need to get some early stops and get the ball back into your hands. Um, so as we take a look, what we wanted to do first was, even though this is a, a heavy pass offense, we had to challenge these guys that we need to get in some pass rush fronts. We need to get some pass rush, some pass coverages. So this first group had to really stop the run so we didn't pop some cheap ones on us. Um, we had a few different coverage wrinkles in here. As you can see, you got Shaquem Griffin playing some man coverage out here. You got the linebacker walked out on number one in a press corner there. Um, good pass rush. You know, we didn't have a ton of sacks, but we hit this guy a lot during the game. And coaches, you know, once you hit the quarterback a lot, that puts a little fear in his heart. Yep. So right here, we got a good hit on the quarterback, good coverage, and great post safety play from uh, Trey Neal. And like you said, I think seven different nights scored. Anytime you can score on special teams and defense to help you guys out is a huge, huge deal. Yep. And then you can see right here, we're going to get a good pass rush. Titus Davis is going to come off the edge here on a little, on a little TE stunt. So overall, I thought we did a nice job stopping the run. We slowed them down in the pass game. And we caught a couple turnovers. So that was, that was really good for us uh, to be able to help you guys out. Now you've got to kind of change gears and, you know, you, you went against, against a pass-happy offense in East Carolina. Now you face the triple option and the run-first offense in Navy. Tell us a little bit about what you expect Saturday afternoon. Well, I think everybody knows what we're, what we're going against here. We're, we're playing a triple option team. And the thing about these guys is, their quarterback, I think he's leading the country in rushing. Um, so obviously he's going to carry the load for them. We got to slow him down. They have a pretty nice fullback that gets about, you know, 30 carries, and he's going to shove it up in there and try to get three or four and see if he can crack one. And then they have all, also have all the option pitches, the load option, the counter option, every kind of option you can imagine getting the ball to these guys in space. Um, so we're going to have to stop all three phases of that. So right here you can see the dive from the fullback, and he's a load going up in there. This one right here, he almost cracks out in the open. Uh, good pursuit by Tulane here, but they, uh, he's a tough runner, and he's going to run that thing downhill. And if you don't hit him in the backfield, if he gets his legs churning, he's a, he's a, a load. Mm -hmm. The next phase of the offense is going to be now they're going to fake the they're going to fake the dive, and they've got some misdirection. Now the quarterback's going to take it, and he's got the option to either run this thing or pitch it. And you can see there. Tulane has a pretty good job. They, they've got this thing schemed up. They've got one on the pitch and one on the quarterback, but you've got to be able to make a tackle in space. 
Everybody's got to do their assignments and you got to be able to execute technique. Then you can see here, once everybody dedicates themselves to the run, all of a sudden this guy's going to pull it up. Nobody's on the, nobody's on the wing. So that's, that's one of the problems with this, this offense, you know, that it's not the pass game, like you said, is not a, a huge portion. But when you go to sleep and you dedicate everybody to the run, all of a sudden they pop one for a touchdown. So it's a true triple option attack, Troy. We just got to take care of our business. Everybody's got to read their keys and get their assignments done, and away we go. Well, looking at uh, Navy's defense, you know, overall, man, they are not going to beat themselves. You know, they're disciplined. Um, they're not, they're pretty simple, pretty basic. They're going to do what they do, but they do it well. Everybody knows exactly where they need to be. Um, up front, you know, they're not the biggest, they don't have the biggest D linemen, but they're active. They move on every snap and they try to beat you with speed and penetration. So you'll see up front here on this play, they really crease the gaps. And now they create a new line of scrimmage and now Memphis has no room to run the ball. So we got to do a great job up front of just neutralizing their twists and their stunts and uh, make sure that we create a new line of scrimmage. On the back end, like I said, right, if you look at this clip right here, it, they go empty, Memphis goes empty, okay, they're playing kind of a shotgun technique and if you pause it, there's really nobody open. So they do a great job of everybody knowing their role, knowing their um, where to be on the field, knowing their drops and they do a great job with coverage and they allow these linemen, defensive linemen to, you know, use their quickness and their speed but right now the quarterback really has nowhere to throw it. When you have a good pass rush, when you have disciplined defenders in the secondary when nobody's open, right, they get after it. So we cannot turn the ball over. Um, we've got to make sure we stay on the field because they're going to control the clock. So we've got to make sure we got to make sure we're efficient. You know, I think the last two or three games we've been efficient. We get the ball, we've gone down and scored. And that's what was going to have to happen uh, Saturday afternoon. But a great test. Going on the road, to me, a top 25 team. Um, you know, I don't think they've lost in the last 15 games or so at home. So we've got a great challenge. Looking forward to the guys. We had a great Monday. Looking for a great week of work and going down there and taking care of business. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for our kids to go up there and experience this thing and go play a, play a great team. Awesome. Go Knights. Charge on.